Welcome back to Scripture Channel. And today I'm going to talk about a scripture that's been used to keep women from leading, preaching, and teaching. Today's episode is called Women Leading, Preaching, and Teaching is Commanded, Condoned, Demanded, Encouraged, and Required by God. Now, the scripture that they used for hundreds of years is this here. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Saying a woman's supposed to be supposed to shut up in church. Let me explain something to you. First Timothy, Timothy 2 and 12 is talking about a husband and a wife. And it's talking about the divine order of God. The divine order of God is the husband is the head of the house. The woman is to be submissive to her husband. But let me tell you something. That husband in the divine order of God is a man of God. That's the divine order of God. Now, no woman should be submissive to any man if not a man of God. Now, you best around to be submissive to a, a person, who, a man that who's not a man of God. Uh, he'll have you out in the street selling yourself, doing all kind of ungodly things. So that's why you women, you need to find you a man that's of God and not just, you know. Anyway, that's another, another episode. But back to this. Start from the beginning. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you can make comments or send, send in things and I can explain it deeper. Uh, but I suffer not a woman to teach. I suffer not a woman to teach because there is no man around to teach. Okay? That's how I see that verse. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. But I suffer not a woman to teach. But then it goes on to say, nor to usurp authority over the man. The key thing they leave out is usurp or usurp. Assert means to unrighteously gain authority over the man. To crookedly, corruptly, or using deception, lies, and tricks to take authority over the man. Like telling the church, he got two babies over here and baby over there. And so they remove him and then put you up there. That's usurp. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. So it's like this here. When a man, when a man of God is teaching, the woman should be in silence, along with everybody else. But the bottom line is, and I'm going to give you these scriptures now, but I suffer not a woman to teach. And that's because there are no men to teach nor to usurp authority over the man. That means to gain authority in a criminal way, in a unrighteous way, to gain authority, but to be in silence. So now they've used this to stop women from preaching, leading, and teaching, but let me give you this here. This part I like. Galatians 3rd chapter, 28 through 29. Listen carefully. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. This ain't talking about everybody is one. Just those who are servants of God. Those who have confessed. Those who are actually living in Christ. This is the divine order of God, not the world, the divine order. When you fit yourself into the divine order of God, you know, God, Christ, the Holy Ghost, when you fit yourself in that triangle, okay, 
you are in the divine order of God. So within that triangle, this goes on, the divine order of God. On the outside of that triangle, you have all this worldliness. You cannot serve God and mammon at the same time. It's impossible. You can't be a Christian and be worldly at the same time. For instance, like Kirk Franklin and Steve Harvey. But hey, folks will fight you tooth and nail to tell you they saved. They Christ because you get a couple of crocodile tears here and there. Anyway, back to this. The divine order of God, okay? This is for those who fit in the divine order of God and you're living in Christ. Say that part one more time. For ye are all one in Christ. Then it goes on to say, and if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Meaning that you are an heir to Christ. Now, I'm going to go to this other scripture in Colossians. And uh, you see it right there below. Check this out. 9 through 11. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. They have a scripture. Conform not to the ways of this of this world, but be renewed, but 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 have a renewed mind. See, this is saying lie not, meaning don't tell lies. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image. Of him that created him. So we're getting back to the image of God. In the divine order of God. Now I love this last verse. Check it out. 11. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew. Circumcision nor uncircumcision. Barbarian. Scythian. Bond nor free. But Christ is all. And in all. So now. There you have it. Women. If God calls you. It's your duty to lead. It's your job to preach. And it's your obligation to teach. So. If he can use an ass. He can show enough to use a woman. And if you're going to put a ass over a woman, then you seriously got some problems. So, until next time, be blessed. Hallelujah.